y'all, it's Cameron with a K, coming to you guys with a new video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my current go-to makeup routine when it comes to shooting content, filming content, or going to an event. I love this routine. It is my go-to die hard, hold it down. Look, I'm no makeup guru, I'm no makeup artist, so don't cover me in the comments, okay? We just over here kiki and try to do what we can do. I do have a routine where I don't use foundation and it's a little bit simpler, so definitely comment below if you guys like to see that. Also, I would love to know if any of these products are familiar to you and you use them. What else did they say? Oh, and also I will leave all the products in the description box below as well as which colors I am in different items. So I might do these maybe once a month or something like that because I do tend to change different makeup products. But these right now, this is like my go-to die hard. If I try one, I don't like, I come back to these, okay? So without further ado, let's get into a quick little slay. <laughs> little disclaimer, it was the time of the month. So my skin is not perfect, but definitely was looking pretty good, y'all. And ignore my hair, child. No, ignore the edges, child. But I love the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It's my go-to right now. And an OG favorite of mine is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I'm always reaching for it. I like to brush my eyebrows up first. And then I do the old school method. I know there's so many different ways to do your eyebrows, but I love to just outline them and then fill them in. And then I brush it through to make sure that it looks seamless. And always make sure that you brush the front of your brows after you fill them in because you don't want to get those square brows. You want to make sure it looks super natural and it has that gradient effect. So that's always what I go for. I'm cleaning up my brows with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. It's super affordable, not my absolute favorite product, but I love to use it for this purpose. And looking back at the footage, I'm like, girl, you were doing too much with that brow. That's why you'll see me make a face at this brow. And I really love the way I did the other one, but I take my time with my brows. This probably takes me the most out of everything that I do is my eyebrows and my mascara. Next, I like to set my brows with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I love this product, highly, highly recommend it. Moving on to the foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color Spice Rum. I absolutely love this product. I'm always reaching for it and I love that it's buildable. So here I'm using a pump and a half, but you can absolutely use a half a pump or just a pump or even more if you need more product. Also, I'm using a sponge, it's from Target. It's the Sonia Cache, Cashew. <laughs> I'll leave links down below so you guys can check it out. I'm following up with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the color Chestnut. I don't always use the same brand when I'm using like foundation concealer, but I really love how these products work together. It gives me enough coverage, but it doesn't feel super heavy, neither does the foundation. So I really, really, really love this product. Highly recommend it. And again, it's in the color Chestnut. You wanna make sure your concealer is lighter than your foundation because your foundation is giving you that clean slate and now you wanna build some depth into your face.
set the areas that I just put the concealer. I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in medium deep. I've used the lighter version, but I really love this medium deep version for my deeper tone skin. Love, 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 love this. Highly recommend it. You will see I will put it everywhere. I don't necessarily, I do a combination of baking and kind of just blending it in and really taking my time to let it soak into those areas so that I can make sure that concealer is not moving, child. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer in the color Mahogany. I really like this. This isn't my usual bronzing contour brush, but I think it came out pretty well, but I'd like to use a more focused brush at an angle. That's my go-to, but it still worked out. Also, I'm very light when I'm using it. I don't want too much, and then I always clean it up just like I did earlier in the video with the concealer, and I follow up with the powder to make sure that it's very clean. I also use the same powder, the bronzer, for my nose contour, as well as you saw I did my cupid's bow. I will also use this powder for under my eyes and my eyeshadow. I love when I'm doing a look like this for everything to look very seamless and like just super natural really. So I think this is the way to get that look by using the same color on those areas. So after wiping away any excess powder from when I was setting my concealer, I'm just using the Black Opal Soft Velvet Finishing Powder in the color Dark to kind of blend everything in so I get no flashback. I like to do my mascara after I set my face because we've all been there where you spray your face after you did your mascara and not mascara all over your eye. <laughs> so I don't wear false lashes. I've been blessed enough to have really long lashes. So shout out to God in my DNA. <laughs> but here's a glance of what it looks like with just one coat versus the other one without. I do usually do two coats of mascara. So I would go through it like I'm doing here and I do one coat on the bottom lash line. I didn't show the second coat, but you guys will see kind of what the outcome looks like. And I use a variety of different mascaras. Here I'm using the NARS Climax. And then for the lips, I like to start with Vaseline Child, cause listen, we ain't about to be out here with our lips crazy and dusty. Masks or not, okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Those are pretty much my go-to products right now. And this is like my go-to routine when I'm really trying to look glam. Sometimes I do a little bit more, sometimes I do a little bit less. When I'm on the go and I'm like, I just need something real quick, I may do a little bit concealer. But if you watch my vlogs, you know, we don't wear makeup every day, but this is kind of like my favorite look that I know I can do. I can do it faster, I can take my time with it like I did in this video, etc. But definitely comment below what you guys think and make sure you guys check the description box for all the product links and things of that nature. There are some affiliate links and what that means is I get a small commission when you purchase, but it doesn't affect you and your purchase at all. Thank you again for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed, comment below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video.